हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर सेफ एट होम स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू लर्न जी के यूनिट नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड आवर टॉपिक इज ट्रू एंड फोल्ड सो नाउ लेट्स लर्न अबाउट आवर टॉपिक्स वॉट इज ट्रू एंड वॉट इज फॉल्स नंबर फर्स्ट थर्मोमीटर्स so here we can see a photograph of thermometers so uh, it's a digital thermometer and you all know that uh, how uh, or uh, uh, how can we use the thermometer and how the reason and we use thermometer uh, because it's a check our fever so digital thermometer may be in, uh, instead into the mouth under uh, and the tongue under the armpits or into the eyes so this thermometer display the uh, reading in the lcd so these types of thermometer does not used mercury which is a has has radars to human so it's a digital thermometer and uh, may be instead into the mouth under the tongue and uh, under the armpit or uh, into the eyes so this thermometer display the uh, reading in the lcd so thermometers here we can so uh, see a uh, mercury a thermometer in mercury is the clinical uh, terms of uh, ometers contacts when the contact with the coldness and expand when in contact with the heat therefore in this thing the measure of the temperature so body temperature is a measurement of uh, amount of heat in the body so the balance between heat produced and heat lost is the body temperature so the normal adult, adult body temperature is 37 degrees celsius so we use the thermometer to check if we have fever so it's a true that we use thermometer to check check it have a fever we have fever or not so it's a true uh, for thermometer so now next uh, and it's a uh, your mother's brother is your aunt so it's a false so why it's a false because your uh, uncle can be your father's brother and your your mother's brother uh, or your father's sister husband or your mother's sister's husbands in english when we used the words like aunt uncle and grandmother and grandfather so or a cousin so we could mean our mother side of the family or our father side of family so uh, we uh, used uncle not aunt so it's uh, your mother's brother is your aunt is sentence is false so your mother's brother is your uh, in english we can say it's uncle not aunt so that's why uh, this is a false sentence okay so now next um, february so here we can see a february month is a uh, shortest month of the year and Uh, the february is the second month of the year in the jailin and jar uh, jiorin uh, calendar uh, and uh, the month has 28 days in a common year or a 29 in a leap years and with the 29th day being called a leap day and it is the first of 5 month to have a 
fever than thirty one days and the only one to have a fever than thirty days. So February is the shortest month of the year, and uh, it's a true sentence. And uh, because of February in a uh, common twenty eight days, but in a leap year uh, we have a twenty nine days, but uh, not a thirty or not a thirty one, and that's why. February is a shortest month of the year. So, and the February is the second month. Uh, and uh, February have a uh, twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. So, children, uh, the shortest month of the year uh, is a uh, February. So, you all are understand about the February. So now next, and it's a dozen. So a dozen is equal to twelve. So yes, is here we can see a dozen. So it's a twelve. So dozen is equal to twelve, and it's a true sentence. A dozen is unit of measurement, and it means twelve. So item of something, the term goes back to uh, don uh, donic creams, which means twelve uh, twelve in Latin. Uh, and uh, human might have started to count on a base twelve because there are approximately twelve cycles uh, cycles of the moon in one cycle of the sun. So. Dozen equal to twelve is a uh, means a uh, dozen uh, we, uh, item of the something. Ah, uh, it's mean twelve, so it's a dozen. So it's a uh, true sentence. A dozen a dozen is equal to twelve. So here we can see also a uh, twelve ah uh, twelve donuts. So it's a dozen dozen donuts. So it's uh, equal to twelve. So children, you all are understand, and uh, uh, you all know that dozen is equal to twelve. So now next, and a shapling is a young tree. So here we can see a young tree. So a young tree with a slender trunk is a uh, known as a shapling. And the way to remember the meaning of shapling is that a tree make shape and sweet. Sir, sir, sugary liquids that in a sugar, sugary liquids that in a sugar maples get turned into syrup. So young tree then is known as a shapling. So. a uh, sap and sweet sugary liquids that sugar melts so a young tree with a slender trunk is known as sapling uh, sapling and the way of remember the meaning of sapling is that trees make shape and the sweet uh, sir sugary liquid and that in sugar melts Ah, uh, gets a trunk into a shrub. So a young tree then uh, is uh, known as a sapling. So a sapling is a young tree. It's a true sentence. So it's a true sentence that sapling means a young tree. And ah, uh, it's uh, uh, the way remembering to the meaning of the sapling is the tree make shape. And uh, sweet sugary liquids that in a sugar maples so gets turned into syrup. So children, uh, a, sha a sapling is a young tree. It's a true sentence. Okay, now next slide. What is it? So uh, here we can see the cat has. A pose. So here we can see a cat has a pose. All cats and dogs have a pose. 
so all cats have a four paws unless they suffer some kind of tragic accident so each front paw has a four finger and one thumb and which is known as the uh, dew claw and her back paw each have a four toes so every finger and toe also has a uh, claw and similar to young fi uh, finely nails finger nails so uh, similar to your finger nails so all cats have a four paws unless they suffer from a kind of a tragic accident and each front paw has a four finger and one thumb so four finger and one thumb so which is known as a dew claws and her back paws each have a four toes so every finger and toe also has a claw similar to your fingers so uh, a cat has paws and a cow so a cow has hooves so here we can see a hooves so the most even toed on glads uh, such as sheep goats deer cattle bison and pigs have two main hooves on each foot and together called a cloven hoof and their taper is a special case having three toes on each hind foot and four toes on each front foot so a cow has a hooves and a cat has a paws so children you all are understand that a cow then sheep goats deer and cattle bison and pigs have a two main hooves and each foot together called a cloven hoof so the repair is a special case having three toes and taper taper is a special case having three toes and each hind a foot and four toes uh, on each front foot so children you all are understand about uh, a cow has a hooves and uh, and cat has paws so now next next slide and it's a uh, when a flows uh, water flows when water flows towards the lower surface so it's a true sentence a uh, water flows towards the lower surface here we can see water flows toward a lower surface so first of all all water runs uh, down hills due to gravity and it may flow northward of southward to the east or to the west but always down hill so while gravity does affect the flow of rivers tides also affect their flow and result in a many rivers flowing backwards as a result so first of all water runs down hills due to gravity and it may flow northward or southward to the east or to the west but always down hill and so while gravity does affect the flow flow of rivers tides also uh, affect their flow and result in many rivers flowing backward as a result so water flows towards a lower surface is a true sentence 
Okay, now next and it's a an electric train. So here we can see a photograph of electric train. So an electric train uh, local motive is a local motive uh, power, but electricity from overhead line. And a third rail or on board energy storage, such as a battery or a super uh, capacitor. So, additional efficiency can be gained from regenerative uh, breaking, which allow a kinetic energy to be recovered during the breaking to put power back on the line. So, an electric uh, locomotive is locomotive powered by electricity from our head, our headlines and third rail or broad energy storage such as a battery. So, electric train is not give a smoke and electric battery is a run with electricity or a, a super capacitor. So, children, you all are understand that electric battery is a run with capacitor or a, a electricity. So, now next and it's a the president of India live in. So, a uh, president of uh, India live in a Rashtrapati Bhavan. So here we can see a Rashtrapati Bhavan. So the uh, splendor of the Rashtrapati Bhavan is multi-dimensional and it is the West Mansion and its architecture. Architecture is breathing uh, and more than that, these it has a hollowed existence in the annals so democracy for a being the residence of president of the largest democracy in the world so uh, our president of india live in a rashtrapati bhavan so uh, not in a parliament so it, uh, he live in a rashtrapati bhavan now next kutub mirar so here we can see a photograph of Kutub Minar. So a Kutub Minar is one of the highest main main natures in the uh, India, which uh, which a high of seventy three meters, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the tallest brick main uh, main main it in the world so these 20th century uh, main it in the considered as the earliest islamic structure in india with both arabic and brahmin in, uh, inscription so kutub minar is in a um, delhi and is one of the highest uh, uh, many drugs in India with a height of 73 meters and it is a on uh, on UNESCO World Heritage Site and the tallest brick main trace in the world. So it's a uh, heritage, uh, UNESCO World Heritage and uh, is, this is 20th century um, Minaret. So, it's a 20th century minaret. So, children, in today's lecture, we learn about a uh, different types of thing, and now we are going to learn exercise on the on these slides. Every slide. So, mm, now. Our unit number 26 and the name is true and false. 
so children you all are right with me and uh, copy in your fair book so uh, unit number 26 true and false take the sentences which are true and cross the ones that are false so here we can uh, write true and false so number first we use a thermometer to check if we have fever so it's a true or false sentence uh, we use thermometer to check uh, if we have fever so it's a true yes we use thermometer uh, to check we have fever so it's a true okay very good children okay now number 2 you all are right with me children now number 2 your mother's brother is your aunt so it's a true sentence or false sentence your mother's brother is your aunt no it's not your aunt we call in english uncle but not aunt so that's why it's a false sentence so it's a false not true okay very good now number 3 the shortest month of the year is january so it's a true or false the shortest month of the year it's january january have how many days oh january have a 30 or 31 days but february have a 29 or 28 days and that's why february is the shortest month of the year not january so it's a false not january is the shortest month it's a february okay very good now number 4 a dozen is equal to 12 so it's a true or false dozen is equal to 12 so it's a true we uh, we uh, call a dozen means it's a 12 so it's a true sentence okay very good children now number 5 a sapling is a young tree so it's a true or false sapling is a young tree yes or not yes so sapling is a young tree so it's a true sentence very good so you all are right with me these sentences okay now number 6 and next so the cat has a house and but the cow has a pole so it's a true sentence or false sentence the cat has hose and cow has pose so it's a not true so the cat has a pose and the cow has a hose so this sentence is a false cow has a hose and cat has pose so it's a false so we write here we write false means f okay now next number 7 water flows towards lower surface so it's a true or false yes it's a true water uh, flows towards lower surface so it's a true sentence water toward a flow towards a lower surface because depends uh, because it's a uh, uh, gravity and that's why a uh, water flows towards a lower surface okay now number 8 and electric trains give gives of smoke so it's a true or false electric train gives of smoke so it's a false here we can see a electric train so electric train not give a smoke it's a run 
to use electricity or a battery and uh, uh, electric trains not gives of smog so that's why it's a false sentence very good okay now number 9 the president of india live in the parliament house so it's a true or false president of india live in a parliament no it's a false they live in a rashtrapati bhavan so not a uh, live in a parliament so it's a false now number 10 the qutub minar is in a delhi so it's a true or false yes it's a true qutub minar is in a delhi so it's a true okay children so you all are understand about this lesson so now you all are uh, learn and enjoy this lecture i uh, hope you all learn and enjoy this lecture so students i will see you next time and also students don't forget to wash your hand regularly eat healthy food stay home and stay safe thank you students